Hi guys, Adam here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get a unique list of something. And not only just a unique list, but also with conditions. With one condition, two conditions, then you can apply that um, holistically for as many conditions as you want. For example, you might want a unique list of athlete names for only games and not practices in this data set. And you could do that. That's what I mean by conditions. So here in this data set, we have athlete names. Each of them are on a team, and there are a bunch of dates. And then there's an event. So, for example, Captain America, he's on the team Good Guys. On 4-24-2020, he played a game. Now, this last column is the peak speed, or the peak speed that this person achieved during that event. So, and we'll, this is kilometers per hour. So, Captain America, his maximum speed, or his peak speed, was 34.4 kilometers per hour in this game on 4-24-2020. Now, I'm gonna, I want a unique list of the athletes. I'm going to do this in two ways because Excel has a formula that makes this really easy, but a lot of people don't have access to that formula. So there's another way to do it. So we're going to go through both. The first way, type in equal unique or equals unique, open parenthesis, and all you have to do is select everything in your table that you want a unique list of. So I want a unique list of table one athlete name. The name of my table is table one. I'm going to close the parenthesis, click enter. And now I have a list of all my athletes. And if I click on this filter button here, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six athletes in this data set, even though their names are repeated a bunch of times. Okay. Now there's another way to do this. And it's using index and match and count if. And I'm going to show you how to do this now. Let's say we want this same list of athletes, but we don't have the unique formula. So you can equals index. I'm going to do the same thing that I did before. Select all the athletes that I want. Now, this is the last time I'm probably going to select something. For the remainder, I'm going to type in the table name and the name of the column that I want because it's quicker that way. So I want those comma, and I'm going to match, zero, comma, count if, and after that, we're going to select the row above this row, this one, and I'm going to put dollar signs around the J and the 2, I'm going to do semicolon, or sorry, just a regular colon, and then J2 without the dollar signs, comma, and I'm going to type in table one athlete name, or you can copy it and paste it, but or you can select it again. So table one, athlete name, close that off, close that formula, or do a parenthesis, comma, zero. We want an exact match. And now I'm going to close the parentheses, parentheses off of that formula. You'll know you're done when you see a black parenthesis on the end. Click Enter. Now that's Captain America. One thing about this formula, though, is this: it has to be an array formula. And what that means is if you're on a Mac, you need to hold down control, uh, Command, Shift, and Enter. If you're on a PC, you need to hold down Control, Shift, and Enter when you enter in the formula. If I did not do that, it will look like this, just like I typed it in. If I do do that, and now I'm holding down Control, Shift, and Enter, you'll see these squiggly brackets on either side of it. That's how you know that you did it right. And now I'm going to drag this formula down for as long as I as long as I want. And I'm going to get errors, and that's okay. You don't these errors you can get rid of really easily, and you can even do this in this formula too. So I'll show you how to do that right now. There's a formula called if error i f e r r o r open parenthesis. And what that's saying is, if there's an error with anything going on in here, then tell me what to do, or tell me what the value should be. So I'm going to do comma, and now I'm going to tell it what the value should be. I want it to be blank. So I'm going to do quote, quote, which means blank, close the parenthesis, and, re and remember, I'm going to hold down Control, Shift, and Enter when I hit this in. Notice the squiggly brackets around it. Now I'm going to drag it down. And now, again, I have a unique list of athletes in a different way. Now, 
Now, maybe you're like, Adam, like, I want just the, I just want the guys on the good guys team and the bad guys team. I want them separated out. Okay, well, let's do that. So I'm going to say, and again, let's, let's do this twice. So let's say, uh, I'll do it over here. Good guys, let's just, and bad guys. Remember, we're going to do this in two different ways. I'm going to remove the first way after, uh, fine, I'll do it. So this is unique. I can spell it right. This one is index. We'll go unique, index, or unique, index, and index. Okay, just, just so you can, if you know what's going on here. Okay, now I'm going to get the guys from the good guys using the unique formula. And to do that, we use an if statement inside of it. So we go equals unique. Now, say if table one or the athlete names, open square bracket, athlete name. Oh, sorry, I messed up. Um, if table one team equal to vote good guys, comma, then I want table one athlete name. So now I'm just telling it, I want the unique list if the table one team, if the team is equal to good guys. And now it's, this is the value. If it's true, if it's false, I can go comma. Maybe I want it to be blank if it's not true. Close the parentheses off, click enter. And now notice, you know, there's kind of a blank thing in here, which could be a problem or could not be. But if I remove this and I sort this, potentially, you can sort unique, sort it like that. And it sorts to the bottom. And if I put that, sorry, if I put the blank back in, it's going to probably come to the top, but I don't know a way around getting getting that blank out of there. And you could sort it the other way too, where the blank goes to the bottom, which is fine. So we have a unique list of just the guys on our good guys. So let's filter this down to just the good guys. And well, that's not, not good. Let's look at them. Captain America, Thor, and Hulk. And there's no one else, just those three. You can see that here. Let's unfilter that, and we got Captain America, Hulk, and Thor, the three that we need. Now, it's easy, I mean, to apply this to the bad guys, you can just copy this formula, paste it here, and you can change good guys to bad guys. Now we have the other three athletes. But there's also something that we can do here that might make this a little bit easier. And that's instead of typing in good guys or bad guys, if we have a cell that we can refer to, that might make it a little bit easier. Um, so what I could do, instead of team equals good guys in quotes, I can remove that. And I can just point to this cell here. I'm going to put a dollar sign before the K, dollar sign before the two, click enter. And we get the same thing. The same three athletes appear here. We're just not typing in good guys into the formula. And we could similarly do the same thing. Here, I just copied that and pasted it. But instead of K2, we want the list from L2 or the bad guys. So change that to L2. Now we have the list of bad guys. All right. Now let's go through the other way, which is the more exciting way. We've already done it, done a lot of it here. Um, we could copy this over and then make a, a minute adjustment. So let's do that first. Or yeah, let's just do that. You've already done this. So copy this formula. Let's paste it in here. Take a good look at it. I'm going to change this J2 to M2. I'm going to click Enter. Don't have to worry about that right now. But now we need to add an if statement in here. And it's actually very similar to what we did with the unique formula. I don't know why that shows up. And now, so we're going to say match 0 comma, if, open parenthesis, now if what? 
Well, we can do the same thing that we did with the unique, where if this, whatever this cell is, and right now it says good guys, I'm just going to lock that in. If that cell equals team in here, so I'm going to type in table one, in square bracket, team, comma. So now if this here equals the team in here, then we want to pretty much get the athlete names. And one important thing here is that we're going to have to add another parenthesis right here before the comma. Because right now this is the value if false, but we don't want that. We want this to be part of the match formula. So right here, I'm going to add in a parenthesis. Now notice this, when I click on this, it's part of the match formula. Okay, now I'm going to hold down control, shift, and enter. And I'm going to drag this down. Now it's a little bit of a different order, but we got Captain America, Captain America, Thor, Thor, and Hulk, and Hulk. And you can sort these things. That's a different video. All right, and then we can just do the same exact thing that we did here. We can copy this, paste it here, and instead of M2 to N2, we need this to be N. It has to be the same cell, N2 to N2, the cell or the cell above it. And instead of looking at the team in M2, which is the good guys, we want to look at the team in N2, the bad guys. I'm going to hold down Control, Shift, and Enter. I see my squiggly brackets. I'm going to drag this down. And we get Iron Man, Wonder Woman, and Black Widow, the three in the same uh, unique list for the bad guys there. Now, I'm just going to do this with the index one, but what if you said, um, okay, I get that. This is already kind of complex, and I'm getting the athletes that are on the bad, on the good guys here. But what if I only want the athletes on the good guys that have a peak speed of 34.4? You want another piece of criteria. Well, we can do that. I'm going to shift over a little. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll delete this here. And let's do this. So let's do index again. Let's go good 34.4. Okay. So what we can do, we already did most of the work here. So let's copy this and let's paste it here. Now, again, we're going to have to switch from N2 here, or from L2 here to N2 here, and sorry, we did N2 last time, but since I deleted a column, things shifted over a little bit. So let's switch that. And instead of looking, the te looking at the team in, or we can keep on looking at the team in L2 because we want the good guys, but we can just, let's just type in good guys just to be different. So if the word good guys is the team here, and now we're gonna add our second piece of criteria, which is comma, and I just went back one. If we can do the same thing that we did, 34.4 equals the peak speed, so equals table one, peak speed. So now we're saying if kind of both of these things are true, and let's do the same thing that we did with the match where zero right now, if I click near it, it says value if false. That's not what we want. We have to add another parenthesis right here right here now if i click on the zero in the match formula area i'm going to hold down control shift and enter and i'm going to drag this down now i only have two athletes well what happened to thor um okay so let's see what's going on here let's filter this list down to 34.4 well you can't see them anymore because i filtered it but we have two athletes that are on the good guys that have a peak speed of 34.4. And that's what we have here. So that's all I'm going to do in this video. Um, but I hope that it's helpful for you creating a unique list of people. And yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.